It's been a while since I've done a get ready style with me video and I'm feeling inspired today because I've been seeing on my Instagram feed, social media feeds, this frosty kind of winter look where the eyelids are almost white and sparkly. You know, the, the cold cheek colors, almost stained looking lips. So I'm just getting ready for the day and I thought I would attempt the look on camera. It feels really appropriate to do a winter style look because the weather in Miami has not been good. So I just pulled a lot of products and I'm excited because I just dug into my collection. So we're gonna use all types of different products. Nothing really new, so let's get into it. I just put on my Rose Ink Hydrating Lip Balm. This is pretty good. I like it. I like it sitting on my lips while I'm doing my makeup. And for base, I pulled the Chantecai Sheer Glow Rose Face Tint. So I'm just going to apply this. I feel like I've been in a makeup rut the last year or so of just using the same techniques. Always different products though, but that more so has to do with just because my job is reviewing things. But I've been testing so many things that I've been doing my makeup the same every day because I don't want to try new techniques with new products. I want to apply them in a way that's comfortable. So lately, I've fallen back into watching straight up old school makeup tutorials. I've been having so much fun with them. Anyways, I, I love this base. It is like skincare. Shantikai has the best skincare ingredients and it leaves the prettiest sheer rosy glow to the face, which I think is gonna be beautiful for my goal today. We're gonna do a little bit of underpainting. Let's see how this goes. I've underpainted before, but nothing super frequent. So I want the base of my bronzer to be a little bit more on the cool side, but not too cool. So I'm gonna mix two of the Fenty Match sticks together, Amber and Mocha, to see if we can get a good mix of this. So I'm just gonna mix Warm Up Mocha on my hand, which is more of a true bronzy shade, but I'm gonna put some Amber in here to cool it down. You can see the difference of the two colors. And I'm just gonna use a Morphe M506, but use whatever synthetic brush you have. And I'm gonna start that along my forehead. I want it to be pretty subtle. So my vision for the skin today is pretty light coverage, nothing too heavy looking. So we're gonna layer on a bunch of products, but try and make it look more natural. Let me mix a little bit more here. And I'm putting this on the back of my hand so that the product really gets warmed up and into the brush before I apply it to the face because when you underpaint, be really, really careful not to make it look streaky, you know? Today's Saturday. It's really, really ugly in Miami and it's been the last three days. I feel like I'm dealing with Maryland weather, just a little bit warmer, but I've kind of been enjoying the wintry shift. I to put on my winter sweater, doing a winter makeup tutorial. Is that a zit I have right there? Anyways, that's a pretty subtle bronze that I added to the skin. Next up, I'm gonna do some blush. So I'm using the Say Dewy Blush in the shade Chili. And I feel like this is going to give the perfect cold kind of look for the winter. I'm gonna put this a lot higher on the cheeks that I'm comfortable with, which is a good practice because I feel like lately I've been taking my blush a little too low. And we are underpainting, so I'm gonna get some all over the nose. I'm just gonna use the same brush. I'm gonna blend it out. It's gonna look a little crazy. Don't even be afraid to like get it underneath the eyes. I haven't done, this really isn't a tutorial because I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> These are all techniques that are not in my normal repertoire, but I'm having fun just trying something different. I'm gonna do just a little bit more blush because that blended out beautifully. I really enjoy this formula and it has a nice really dewy look, but I do want it a little bit more pigmented since we are layering products over top. All of these products that I'm going to use up today, like my base, my blush, and my concealer and foundation, I'm hoping that it's all going to layer really pretty 
and look really glossy. So while I'm not even being afraid to blend that blush underneath the eyes, I'm gonna put like concealer on, but I want that cold look to come through. It looks scary. This is a little bit more of a trendy makeup kind of vibe that we're going with. And then I'm going to put on some concealer now. This is the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer. This is such a classic product. And this is my plan to give coverage for today's look. I do have a foundation pooled. We'll see if I end up using it or how much. I'm just going to start off with the under eyes. And then I'm really red right here. So we don't want that. I'm going to use a damp sponge because I'm going with the lighter coverage vibe. Normally I'd use a concealer brush, but that holds the coverage of the product. Now the Luminous Silk Concealer from Armani, generally speaking, it gives lesser coverage, but the sponge even gives less, less coverage. To make it look really natural and skin-like with whatever's left, I'm literally just gonna go over the nose and that instantly toned down the blush on the nose. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. There is no natural light is the problem, so I'm using all studio lights. So it's really bouncing off my face and creating shadows. Okay, and then for foundation, I just pulled something light. This does give pretty good coverage, I'm not gonna lie, but I'm gonna try and use very minimal. This is the Maybelline Superstay Skin Tint. And being really minimal with foundations is a little bit tough for me. So I'm just gonna put some on a palette. And I'm using my Hourglass foundation brush. I'm using just the littlest bit in the brush. I'm going to start off by applying this and blending it the center of the forehead. So I'm applying the most amount of color on the areas that don't have any product. So like right here, there's no product. So I'm going to first layer that, push it down, and then start blending. And then as the product lessens on the brush, I'm gonna kind of go over what we've already done. So yes, that includes the blush and the bronzer. Get a little bit more on my mustache. And I'm gonna start going over the other areas of the face that I have the color. I feel like there's a lot of flashback. So just so you can see how the color is sitting on the face, it looks very, very natural and skin-like. A lot of glow though, a lot more glow than I'm used to. But I'm just going to let this makeup sink in and then we're going to set it and do all that fun stuff. For eyebrows, I'm just going to quickly fill in with the Refai eyebrow pencil. Just picked up whatever I had in my drawer, really. How are the holidays going for you guys? Was it really stressful this year for you? I think I'm already done with all my gifts. It's difficult living far away from your family because... I got them all shipped to my parents' house. And then when I get there, I'm gonna have to do all the wrapping and make sure everything is good. My husband and I have quite the busy few weeks coming up. I feel like I say this every video that I talk about myself in, but it's true. So in like a week, less than a week, a few days closer when you guys are seeing this, flying down to my parents or up to my parents for Christmas, spending about a week there, and then we're flying back down to Miami. We'll be in Miami for one day in between, and then the next day after that, so two days after we arrive back in Miami, we are flying over to Spain. We're gonna spend 10 days there. Jose hasn't been to Spain in the winter since like 2019, <laughs> so we really wanted to prioritize this year getting over there for the holidays. Christmas isn't as big of a deal in Spain. They have, it's called Magic Kings, which is the 6th of January. So I get to experience that. So that's gonna be so fun. And then for my brows, I'm gonna use the Benefit Brow Setter. But also because of these two big trips, I'm a little bit stressed for work. I'm just trying not to be. I don't know how not to be is the problem. I love to work. I've always loved working. I love having videos to post. But it's just not physically possible for me to have videos pre-planned and scheduled to go when we're out of town. Because it's December, so it's more important to get my videos up in December. 
as opposed to January. So I'm just prioritizing filming what I can, uploading when I can while I'm here, and then we'll figure it out when we're gone. I probably won't upload, I'll probably take a break that beginning of January that I will be in Spain, maybe a vlog or two, but nothing crazy. Anyways, brows are looking good. I'm just going to use a brush with my foundation and I'm gonna clean up under here. But yeah, I've definitely been under a little bit of stress. Not necessarily pre-filming, but just filming as much as I can. I've filmed the last two weekends in a row, including this weekend since it is Saturday. But that is because I'm gonna take off for two, almost three weeks at the very, very end of the year, which is gonna be really nice. And then while I'm at it, I'm just going to put a little bit of the foundation that I have left over on my palette on my eyelids. I'm just not used to doing this technique on my face. It is so skin-like and natural, but I'm definitely going to do some powder. But first, I'm going to reach into a powder bronzer that's not too warm. This is the Sigma Matte Bronzer in the shade Light. It's the perfect shade just to add a little shadow on my eyes. I feel like... I'm so inspired by my makeup collection right now because I just filmed declutters and they were really, really big declutters. So I'm having fun digging through my makeup collection because everything is organized. It brought things that I haven't thought about recently back to light because I can see them in my drawers. But I'm using this bronzer, which I like because it's light. It's not too warm. It's not too cool. And it's just creating a super natural shadow and then as beautiful as this skin is it's definitely too reflective and too shiny so i'm going to use the hourglass translucent veil setting powder which is really great for a glowy base because that natural glow will still come through i'm just going to use a refer brush get it all in the brush and i'm focusing mostly right here on the under eyes center of the forehead think about where you get oily the most and I'm really porous right here so right here I like to put a little bit of powder and that's all I'm gonna do so my skin is still very very glowy but still looks really really natural and then let's go ahead and work on the eyes so I do have that bronzer down as the base color but I really have been inspired by those really light frosty eyes so I picked a couple of products that I think are going to be beautiful for that look so I'm starting off with the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in Peekaboo this one just has a really pretty light bright sparkle to it I'm feeling inspired by these because I went through and swatched all of them and I got rid of my old dried out ones and I was like, oh, I love these so much. I need to use them more. And so this video is the perfect opportunity to bring them out. The ColourPop Super Shocks are such a beautiful formula. I think everybody knows that. There's not really a person that doesn't like these and they're so affordable and they have such pretty colors and endless amounts of options for these i hope they never discontinue this because it's what made the brand it also is just the most gorgeous look on the eyelid now i want you to see how i'm literally applying this shade all over the eyelid including above the crease i still do have that bronzer i put on peeking through but i just literally want it everywhere for that wintry kind of look and then my favorite thing that I've been doing is putting the light shimmer all along my lower lash line as well. Really focusing it in the tear duct, most importantly, because that's going to give that wintry, fun, pretty look. And then I'm just going to put it everywhere on my lower lash line as well. Completely frostify the eyes. That looks so good. Now you can leave the eyes like this. I think it's really pretty. But I did want a little extra glimmer because I'm me. So I'm pulling into the Touch and Soul Metalist Sparkling Foiled Pigment in the shade Cream Peach. It just has a lot of reflex. I'm gonna be really careful with this, like very lightly pat on. And I'm just going to use a little bit of it on top because I don't know if you can see the difference, but it just added a little bit more reflection. I'm not putting on a thick layer of it whatsoever. I'm just stealing some of its glimmers pretty much on my eyelid. That's it, just a little bit. Then I'm taking the L'Oreal Infallible Gel Metal Mechanical Eyeliner. 
in the shade Bright Nude, and I'm gonna put that in the waterline. So this is going to open up the eyes even more. It will look less weird when we get mascara on. There will be some definition. But also to add some definition, I'm going to get just a medium to deep toned matte brown color. I'm using the shade Woody from the Scott Barnes Snatural eyeshadow palette, but literally just use any medium toned brown that you have on an angled brush. And I'm just doing this to add some definition to the eyes because I don't have incredible lashes. I'm going to add more definition. If you have incredible thick lashes that just look amazing with mascara, I don't think that this step is necessary for you, lucky ducky. But since my lashes struggle being the star of the show, just lightly pressing this along the lash line. Do you see how that just added that little bit of definition? And because I can't go without a wing, I'm gonna do just a baby wing like that. This is just a Sigma angled brush. And that's it for the eyeliner. Literally almost nothing. You could even take, if you wanted it to be more natural, a smudger brush like this and just soften it even more. But eyeshadow is so good for subtle definition like this. I'm gonna take my time with mascara. I'm gonna use one of my best mascaras because I want this to bring definition to the eyes. So I'm gonna use one of my favorites, the Tower 28 Make Waves Mascara. I think black would look best, but brown could be cool for this look too. I'm really gonna take my time with these lashes. I'm not done with the lashes because the lashes are gonna make it, but while my mascara is drying, I'm gonna do the lips. Now I'm gonna start off with a cool toned nude lip pencil. I'm using the Esum Dual Lip Pencil in the shade Nude, and I'm using the lighter shade, which happens to desperately <laughs> needing a good sharpen, so much better. So I'm gonna stick to this as being the outside contour shade. This pencil is so lovely and creamy. I'm just gonna take my finger, blend it in a little bit. And then for the lips, I'm going in with our blush, which is gonna make it really cohesive. So this is that Say Chili. I'm gonna put a little bit more on my cheeks too, I think. But I'm letting this cover all of my lips. And while we're at it, I do want like a little bit more of this color right here, but just a little bit because this is gonna bring that dew back that the Say gives. Just a hint of it. <laughs> the glow on the cheeks that this gives is insane. And then to finish off the lips, I'm using the Lancome Juicy Tubes in the shade Miracle for that glow. I got this in a PR package and it instantly threw me back to the days when I was like six. And this was really popular. It has these, a bit of a glossy, globby kind of feel to it, which I don't like. So this is not my favorite lip gloss, but it does give a really pretty shine. And then to finish the face, I've fallen in love with this for the 10th time over again. This is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. It just gives the prettiest glow from within. So I'm gonna put this on the top of my cheeks. So I'm just popping it right here. It's gonna give into that frosty vibe as well. This is a Sigma E61 brush. I'm gonna push it right here as well but it has that beautiful finish where it's really, really natural. Okay, so I've been waiting for the mascara to dry because the lashes are kind of the focal point of the look. So I don't have much lashes to work with. So I apply mascara and then I have to curl again to kind of set it so that the lashes are visible. And then after you do that, make sure you clean off the eyelash curler so that it doesn't get caught on the lashes. And then I did also for some extra va va voom, I pulled some Ardell Soft Touch Trios and I'm going to put three trios on the outer part of my eye. This is gonna take some time, so give me a second. <laughs> okay, it pulled together exactly as I envisioned it. Now, in terms of the soft touch trios from Ardell, I used two medium on the outer and then two of the short on the inner to get that fanned out effect. And then I pressed it again with an eyelash curler just to get them to look a little bit more uniform. 
It's definitely different than the style of makeup I'm used to wearing because we have such a dewy finish, especially with the blush itself. It's showing my pores a little bit more than I'm used to. However, it looks youthful, it looks plump, and it looks extremely, extremely skin-like. So I actually really like this makeup look. It was nice to change up my typical kind of makeup routine a little bit, try some new techniques. And it's definitely very wintry, like cold girl wintry, frosty eyes. That's what I was going for. So I'm really happy that it turned out as I envisioned. So I hope you guys enjoyed this wintry makeup look and getting ready with me for the day. I'm really into the look. I hope you guys like it too. Let me know if you try a look like this out and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.